Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 2. Here today, we're going to be starting episode 3 of my Curse of the Vampire Coast DLC Let's Play campaign as the Dread Fleet. We are playing as Count Noctilus. And uh, here today, we're going to be having a battle against the High Elves. Tyrion has declared war upon us. We're going to be hopefully fighting him here today with the Count. So guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series and would prefer to see another strategy game. Let's play it on the channel instead. But I do ask to let me know in the comments that alternative suggestion. But welcome back to the pirate campaign. I've been having an absolute blast. So, skipped a couple turns ahead as I wanted to try and claim this peninsula here for myself. Sort of turtle up, put money back into the economy, build up my armies. Then we can start pushing against Tyrion and the High Elves and uh, further up against the Elves and, and whatnot. However, unfortunately we've been declared war on. So we took Vol's Anvil in the last episode. We pushed up to this, uh, what was it? It was just like an abandoned settlement off camera. Quickly took it, colonized, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We managed to finish off the Elves here as well at Tor Sethai. Uh, can't, there was like Mechri. I can't even remember what Elves they were. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, those Elves that we played at the start of the campaign smashed a full stack of them here. Smashed them at Vol's Anvil. By the time we got to their last settlement, we took it quite uh, easily. So I'll recap where my armies are, who I'm at war with. And uh, yeah, we're either going to be getting attacked by Tyrion in the next turn. Or we're either going to go straight in and try and assault him. So we currently occupy three, three territories in the campaign. We currently have Jack Sparrow at the Galleon's Grave here. We did manage to get some minor diplomacy down the Vampire Coast, which is cool. We took Vol's Anvil as well. Uh, I, I don't know, I think it's when it's like winter or something. You can actually see the tides and the wind sort of turning here. So you can see the Vampiric Corruption going through the land. We're also recruiting some more units here with Captain Barbosa. We've got three units of zombie pirate deckhands. These are the proper um, pole arms. These are the pole, pole mirrors or whatever they are. Our proper spear infantry. We're going to get some scurvy dogs as well. Moving up here to Count Noctilus as well. It's it's Noctilus. It's kind of like the dwarfs and dwarves thing. I usually just say Noctilus because it's easier to say for me. So we've got three units of mob here. We've also got some deckhands. We've also got a mortar for the first time as well. So once I was sort of moving back down here, Tyrion out of nowhere declared war upon me and marched into Kalador's Respos uh, with um, Tyrion. Quite a decent army, mostly archers and cavalry. Diplomacy-wise as well, we're currently at war with, it looks like, uh, who are these guys? Just Empire uh, Freebooters of the Royal Port. And then we're at war with some Dowie Dwarves. I managed to join the war that the Vampire Coast were at with these Lizardmen to get a non-aggression pact, and then Tyrion out of nowhere declared war, a war upon me, so that's good, we've got that to look forward to. But apart from that, not really much else is going this uh, turn, I really was wanting to sort of turtle up, hold this coast for as long as possible, then push upon the High Elf's capital, but it looks like Tyrion and his merry men are going to be quite aggressive against us, so we are slightly not favoured to win, they are attacking us. Uh, Noctilus, is a, Noctilus is currently rank 6. We've got some nice bonuses there. Tyrion as well. He's got two units of spearmen, one unit of shadow warriors um, missile infantry, one unit of Lothrian sea guards, a couple of them, a lot of archers, a lot of cavalry. They have a flame phoenix as well, along with a bolt thrower. So, let's see how this goes. We've got a necro effect, Colossus. We've got some mortars as well, a bloated corpse. We've got hand gunners. It's going to be a close one here today. So let's get stuck right in to the battle with Count Noctilus versing Tyrion, son of Tywin, Tyrion Lannister. Okay guys, how you doing? Welcome to the battlefield. This is sort of make or break for the campaign. It's, it's another flashpoint, I would say. We've sort of gone away from the raiding, the sacking, 
primarily using the Dread Fleet and the Maelstrom, just trying to bring uh, sort of money and hoard back and try and build them up. I went for a different approach, trying to go up the coast of the High Elves, try and get some settlements, and try and consolidate and defend it here. If not, we're probably going to have to go back to the seas from whence we came. So, we've only got a 10%, uh, 10 wins of magic. I'm going to gamble it straight up, because 10, you might, if it's about half, you should, uh, if, if it's about half, oh, fucking hell. If it's about 15, eh, give or take, depending on how lucky you feel. Right, this map is not good for us. If we had some sort of elevation, that would be fantastic. So we'll see what we're sort of trying to work with. So what I want to ideally do... Hmm, I wouldn't mind just sort of clustering a bit. They don't have any, very many um, sort of swordsmen as well. But I'm just trying to think what's the best way to use my handgunners. There's a nice little sort of ridge here that we could somehow arc ourselves somewhat. So how strong is this front line if we put it here? That's not too bad. I actually don't mind that too much. Go for like four here. And then try and flank with that. The rest we'll put here on the front line and try and angle them in as best we can. It's probably our best bet, I would say. So then what I'll do is move you like that so I can differentiate it against who's who. Move my Necrofec here as well. I'm going to move my Mortars back a bit. We should have heaps of range on them. Oh, probably not. Okay. I'm just worried about if the front line buckles. Um, they could charge us right through. I think that's plenty of room here. And we'll chuck my Necrofec just to the right of it here as well. I'm going to move you here. We've got a lot of bombardments as well. Wrathstorm we've got to look forward to. And we've got you here in the center as well. Let's move my blobby boy here. And I guess we'll leave it at that. Try and hold the line men as best we can. I'm going to quickly go to my uh, cannons and turn off toggle skirmish mode. And guard mode. Uh, is there some? Sometimes there's a good attack formation you can get sometimes. But that's it. Everyone's on fire at will. Let's... uh. Start the battle against the High Elves here today. Start deployment, start the battle. Fire at will, men. Let's see how these spearmen do. Mortars at the ready. Okay, so they seem to be funneling here, which is good. Okay, let's try and just rain fire and death upon them. Let's try and have a crack at those Sea Guard. They've got their uh, Flame Phoenix as well we've got to watch out for. But try and get your shots off quickly, boys. Let's go with the Bombardment spell. Try and soften them up as quickly as possible. Probably the center here now. And that's going to follow them quite well, I'd imagine. Maybe try and drop a couple of other bombardments if we somehow can. Wait for our cannons to get in range. They're starting to soften us up a wee little bit. So let's try and do the same to them as best we can. So that bombardment's coming in now. Let's try and soften up this front line as it tries to charge me. That's rain, fire. Oh, he's going to have to move up the bugger. Wait until you get a little bit weak, closer. Okay, so their, their cavalry are coming straight out for me. That's fine, because I've got some gunner mob nearby. They should be able to get some shots off. Come on, that's what we want. Try and get your shots off before they can even make it. And they're hammering towards my right flank. They are going to make it there, but we might be able to wipe out the artillery. Charge for, for the high elves. Artillion. Okay, so we're going to have to sort of pause and evaluate here at the moment. So there's a nice charge coming in here. I could try and swing you further around and get right up into that. That would be fantastic. Okay, let's try and drop some of these bombardment spells where we can. So let's try and soften up those spearmen as best we can. Uh, what else have we got here? Damage resistance. We could chuck a couple of them on our sort of front line units here. Who are you? Uh, bomb thrower, we could, I, what I want you to do is so, wholly and solely focus on Tyrion, that's what I want you to do. Okay, continue to bombard this and try and soften that up. Necrofec, try and hit into this. And we're actually getting charged here a little bit, okay. So that's good, we've nearly routed them, which is perfect. They're charging it against me, we've absolutely shattered those Reavers on the right hand side. Let's continue to allow to do that. They've got their own skirmishes back there. Wow, they're gone. If we can somehow take out this phoenix and focus on that, that'd be spectacular. So you need to continue to focus on Tyrion where you can. 
Let's drop a healing spell here. I'm still learning as to what's exactly what in this. Um, where's where's my blobby? We could charge you through this and get rid of those reavers once and for all. That might not be a bad shout. So the problem is when they're sort of split, isn't it? Yeah, try and somehow shoot him. Now, what have you actually gotten as an ability? Bomb throw. Cause damage to combatants. Replenish ammunition. Powerful explosion. Well, okay, so it takes a while. You need to be really right in the thick of it. But that would hit that. But maybe you need to go for, like, something down here, down and around here. Regardless, we're getting some shots off here against us. God knows what's happening to the birdie there. Okay, try and swing around here and help. No, that's it's going to come to try and come towards us. We'll try and shoot it out of the sky if we can. Okay, where's Tyrion? We'll send you in to try and engage them. Okay, continue to hit this. They're charging. I don't know what happened to Mr. Blobby. So we're actually hitting that Phoenix all right. Just need to reform this somewhat. So if we can just sort of hold here where we can, that's all right. We might need to sort of rotate some of these guys if we want to, because we might be able to get some nice shots off. If we get somehow angle to that, we might be able to hit them all right here. Okay, bombardment spells. We've got another one. Let's try and soak this up massively. Let's try and get rid of that once and for all. If we could somehow kill Tyrion, that'd be perfect. That's exactly what we're trying to aim for. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Okay, where's the Colossus? You need to be starting softering stuff up the back. We could get rid of that swordsman somehow. So we've been flanked here by those Reavers, which we really can't afford to. We've got another bombardment spell. Let's try and use that as best we can. If we could somehow knock neutralize that Phoenix, that would be ideally perfect. Okay, let's try and kill Tyrion if we can. Let's try and kill him. We can replenish ammunition for some people. We don't want to do that just yet. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to send one unit with swords. I want you to swing all the way around there and try and neutralize those bolt throwers. Because that's what we need to be doing. And you need to be hitting stuff like this. Okay, where is my Necrofect? You need to be putting a better shift in. And we've got a couple more bombardment spells here we can do. Like, you're getting a bit surrounded here, mate. Like, if you could somehow... And you're losing... We need to kill Tyrion somehow. Or, I don't know. We've nearly gotten rid of this side here. We just need to come out and help. We've nearly gotten rid of that Phoenix, though, which is fantastic. If we can get rid of it, really neutralize that. So we're not looking too bad, but we're not still in amazing shape from what I would like. Now, hit this unit here, then, if they're just going to sit there. Okay, we've got some more bombardment spells coming in. Whoa, you need to heal yourself there. Okay. I'm constantly pausing, because uh, this is hectic. Like, this is make or break. If we don't win this, we're going to be in such a fucked position. It's not going to be funny. I need to make sure that everything I launch basically counts if we can and you seriously need some help here because I guess I guess Tyrion is like a master combatant so we've really got to get our shit together here and sort of come in and sort of help out where we can it might not be the best bet to go after Tyrion's uh, Tyrion in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but it might be better off to sort of try and rally around him. So let's target myself there. Okay, so they're routing, which is good. Uh, we've got another bombardment coming in in a moment. It's going to be mass casualties this fight, however. It does look like this flanking unit is making their way there, which is exactly what we want. My handgunners have now perfectly flanked, and they're getting in some good positions. It's basically my lord here now, against Tyrion. So we need to heal myself if we can, and as best we can. 
Okay, Necrofect, try and have a crack at some of these guys back here. Yeah, so have another bombardment crack at probably that. Okay, that's not doing too bad here. They're sort of holding where they can. They're pushing. My guys have just made it here to those bolt throwers. They're getting some nice shots off here. Uh, still waiting a little bit longer. Are you sort of... Yeah, cool. We've just got rid of their... Their whatever it's called. Fire into this, fire into that. God, this is so close. Cool, they're good. F fall, f fall further in. Okay, we've got another healing on you. This is absolute madness here. I hope you guys are sort of getting the enormity of this battle. Gunners on the left and right, throwing in shots. Pirate men, this is make or break. We're going to be sent back for the, to the bloody seas if we don't valiantly win. I think we, we might have got them on the ropes here now, though. Okay, continue to put some pressure down into this. What we're doing is we're, we're hitting these guys in this nice sort of causeway here as they retreat. Okay, you need to be somehow just having a crack at Tyrion wherever he is. He's here. Necrofec, um, have a crack at these guys. Oh, well, go in, go in on this then. Okay, we, we're saving up a little bit more. Let's throw in a war's strength here. They're getting charged. Hail the mighty! Ah, as they call from the deep. Ah, yo, ho, ho, it's a pirate's life for me. Ah, yes, victory! We have victory! Holy shit. Arr! We've won the day. Holy shit. Look at the enormity of this fight. If we could somehow kill Tyrion, I don't think we're going to be able to, but we might. If we can somehow get him, kill him down. Like, he's the main target. If we could somehow kill him, I don't know if we're going to be able to, because he's running too far away, but we might be able to get, like, a lot of gunners on him. Like, that's our primary objective, if we can somehow do that. I don't know if you can kill characters in this. I think they... The thing is, right, they, uh, they're kind of semi-immortal, so... They get mortally wounded, and they can lose a lot of strength. Like, it's, um, with generals, I don't think they can technically die. But, for example, if they die once, they get a wound. If they die, like, three times, they nearly become, like, useless. They get, like, mortally wounded. Which is quite cool. That it has some sort of reflection. In some aspects. But, yeah, maybe try and just fire this down. But we have victory. We have victory. And that was a, that was a close one. I don't think we're going to be able to get Tyrion. Which is fine. However, we've destroyed a full stack, which is crazy. Against the High Elves. I'm surprised we... Well, it was a close one. It really could have gone either way here. What if we can get a shot with our... A shot with our mortars. <laughs> Nowhere near. And uh, Tyrion is going to evade us here today as well. But regardless, we have victory. Man, we've had a lot of close victories in this campaign, to uh, to say the least. So we deployed 2,410. We lost 1,788. Tyrion deployed 1,363. Higher quality troops, less numbered. Battle hardened and rather proficient. But the balance was a little bit off for him, I believe. He gave us too much of a chance uh, to sort of... Sit back and hold. Charging those cavalry into my cannons was a grave... Uh, like handgunners is a grave, grave mistake. You should have focused more on the center, I think. Noculus killed 50 there. My Colossus and my Mortars did most of the work. 253, 207. Handgunners did very well as, as well. As they routed, we sort of enveloped around them. Uh, those... Those uh, scorpions they had did really well. Their spearmen didn't even do that well. Neither did Tyrion himself, though. Really, those archers are so good. But I think they really misused their cavalry in that fight. Okay, guys. Welcome to the campaign map. We've gained 800 and loot. We have decimated their army along with ours. We've lost... Oh, 
Oh, I thought we lost our necro effect there. I don't think it is. It's a little bit greyed out, but holy crap, that was a close one. So, we can replenish with a 5%. Or we can ransom 1,370. The thing is, as we are playing as a vampiric faction, we can obviously raise the dead. So I am inclined to maybe ransom them somewhat. So let's do that. Because I want to try and go after them. So they've pushed back to Kalidors. And they're going to try and muster. I want to try and finish them off as best we can. If we can really put a blow against Tyrion and the High Elves... We're going to be laughing. Okay, they've changed their stance to mustering at White Peak here. I believe this elf faction is at war with Tyrion. So we've got the bleak coast here. The dwarven faction, they are at war with us. But I don't think they can actually make us make uh, onto land. The sword of... Oh, okay. Has been claimed. The sword of Khan. Khani, I don't know what that means. Okay. Cool. Well, let's chuck a quick save straight up. If we can push and take the initi initiative of that victory, I will. And we're going to be able to raise the dead a lot here, which is fantastic. We don't want to give them any respite whatsoever. So getting some fell bats, some gunners, sort of getting some nice variety up in here is probably our best bet. And we've nearly got a full stack back at it. How fantastic is that? We're going to go straight here to Kalidors, and I'm just curious, can we get some more units? No, we can't, because I was going to say, I, I kind of might like to rally up a bit. Can we send, we can send a, uh, we're not going to be able to get in range, but you will be in one turn. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll move up to Kalidor here, and I'll see the order resolve for this. Okay, so it's not quite in my favor just yet, so it's in circle. I could give it two turns. Move this on a force march, then get you here. You can even you can't raise any more dead here. We could sweeten the order resolve just a little bit more. I believe we can win that. But we're gonna lose casualties again. That's gonna weaken us a bit. Uh, let's have a quick look at our stats and see if we can try and uh, focus a bit more. So this is a cooldown regeneration. Throw itching. Lucky charm. Uh, replenishment is always good. Look, you know what? Let's go with leadership. Monkey Jacket's a ward one, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's chuck another quick save. Um, Am I competent enough to sort of older resolve this one out? They are in a forced march though as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Let's take out Tyrion and finish him off once and for all. It was another close one. We lost 823. However, we have smashed Tyrion's army here today. We're going to reoccupy our territory. Tyrion's died and the province has been secure. I'm going to go dive back into a diplomacy. It would be really cool if we could get some, like, armor off Tyrion or something. So let's negotiate with the elves. Uh, they don't want a super peace. You're kidding me. You're already at war with Illyrion to the north. And Safri, which is, must be around here as well. However, we have we have caused a major blow here, here today to the High Elves, and we've retaken our coastal cities, which is fantastic. So I'm going to try and continue in peace and harmony, uh, where I can try and rebuild the Galleon's Grave as well, try and construct more stuff, and try and make Vol's Anvil, Kalidor, and the Tor here a vampiric sort of sanctuary. Got to say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly for providing me with the DLC Early Access Code making this series possible and a huge thank to thank you to their community manager before I end the uh, episode here. Unfortunately guys it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series and if you'd like to see more that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video a 
tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is been simsy goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there